Brenda, is these conversations are still going on, aren't they? I mean, this is 45, 50 years ago, but we're still having conversations about, you know, women's choices. And, and, and I, I'm sure there's a lot of women who stay at home do still feel that there's a stigma attached to it. Do you think they do? Well, it's a personal preference. I mean, my, my, the, the women in my family have always worked. I've always worked, whether it be, you know, serving in a restaurant or, or doing a paper round or, or working in an office. And I think that's just the way that I've been raised and brought up that you, you've you got to work. I was also a single mother that was working, go to work, and then I come home and I look after my children. Um, you know, so it's, it's down to a personal preference. For me, I prefer to be out working. It's nice to be at home with the kids too but I just prefer to be out working and, and bringing in the money. I mean, one thing I have to say that always, we, I think, romanticise now the stay-at-home uh, mum of the 1950s. And in my experience, like with my family, my granny, who predated that, was a hospital cleaner. And her mother worked as well. They had to work. Working-class women worked yeah you know so it's not that everyone was sort of trotting about with fluffy mules and serving cupcakes and gin and tonics at five o'clock it was a very small number of women who who did that um but come to today it's interesting we did a survey just before um lockdown and we asked people and we didn't distinguish between men and women but probably it was more women who responded and overwhelmingly when they were asked what the dream job was was to stay at home and look after the children yeah, my mum had stayed at home, looked after the children, but she also had a job. So she yeah. was a home help, so she'd go into the elderly and help them get their shopping, do a little bit of housework for them and everything. But I didn't really want to watch it. I started watching it, I thought, oh, this is going to be really boring. There's no serial killers, no murderers in it. <laughs> and, yeah. and, then I got, and then I got hooked on it, because I didn't realise it was a true story. And it was like a history lesson for me, because I learnt so much from watching that. Mm. And the acting in it is absolutely... It's all women, isn't it? Yes. And every single one of them, and it's a different woman, it's... it's it's based on each night and you find out each woman's yeah. story, don't you? Yeah. But I thought it was absolutely amazing. Wait. And as you said, Tracy Ullman just steals the whole series. She's Linda, absolutely... did you ever at a point in your life think, right, OK, what do I want to do? Do I want to work or do I want to stay home and look after children? Did you ever sort of see it as an either or? Not really, because I started working at age 10. So I'd worked all the way through secondary school, primary school. I'd worked and then it was just my job. And then I just carried on with it. And then I had children and I'd look after them and then when I got a big series or whatever, obviously I couldn't look after them. So Mark would be at home looking after them. He was like a stay-at-home dad. He'd take the kids to park. I mean, they had great fun with him, you know. They, sometimes he'd forget mm. to feed them, but um, he'd take them to parks and take them out and everything. You know what, watching this programme reminded me that in, uh, exactly around this time, maybe a little bit later, about 1975, I remember, you know, as a career woman and fighting my way up, th up through the media, someone asked me in an interview, what do you think of housewives? And I said... I hate the term because a woman isn't married to a house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this... I, I think what's good about this programme is it makes you... It asks you the question, mm -hmm. you know, is the work being done by women who stay at home and look after the children as valid as the work that women like we yeah. do? Brenda? I, I've always said the hardest job is raising children. That's the hardest job, I think, in the whole world, and that will never change. And I think lockdown has, like, has made people realise, yeah. you know, like, because you, you've been indoors all the time. Lauren's been at home with the kids all the mm. time. They live on the third floor, they haven't got a garden. So it's been really difficult mm. for her. I mean, she does all their schoolwork and everything with them and crafts and all of that. Mm. But it's still really hard to be at home. Do you know the other thing I think will be interesting out of lockdown, though, because this ter term, stay-at-home mum, we're always saying, would you rather be a stay-at-home mum? We don't often ask men what their preference would be. We kind of assume that they would rather be at work, don't we? And the lockdown experience, I think, for a lot of guys will have opened up their eyes to spending a lot more time with their children, spending a lot more time with their family. And who knows, if we were to ask that question of blokes now, you might get a very surprising answer in that they would think, actually, the world of work isn't all I thought it was. And I've really enjoyed spending more well, time has, with my family. Have they enjoyed it enough to actually do a larger proportion of the housework? What? That's what I'm asking. You know, are well, they really enjoying funny... being at home so much they can operate a washing machine? Well, funny you them? say that, Janet. Hot off the press, coming through my ear, we did a very quick poll on this and 60% of the blokes that responded would want the chance to be a stay-at-home dad. Oh, would they? So there you go. Yeah. Maybe the times they are a-changing. You never know. Big Interesting. Money,